Hi everyone, it's Sarah here at the Rapid City Public Library, here to present another story time short for you. Today we'll be reading a little story about a set of twins named Dex and Zoe. And it is a 100% true fact that twins go together like peanut butter and jelly. But it's almost time for Dex and Zoe to start kindergarten and they're going to be in two different classrooms. Let's find out what happens, shall we? Before we get started, I'd like to thank HarperCollins for allowing us to share this story with you today. Twindergarten by Nikki Elrich. Twindergarten. This is Dex and this is Zoe. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. On the night before school, the twins had the jitters. The just about to start school jitters. Tomorrow, they'd be in different classrooms and they absolutely couldn't imagine what that would feel like. The twins took out the pins and name tags their teachers had sent them. Zoe would be with the awesome alligators. Dex would be with the cool cats. But what they absolutely positively wanted was to be together. Being in different classes will give you the chance to make your own new friends, said mom. Zoe wasn't so sure. And Dex absolutely, positively, definitely wasn't so sure. That night, Dex pushed his bed closer to Zoe's. Zoe moved her pillow closer to Dex's and took his hand. It was what she always did when she knew her brother was worried. The next morning, the twins were up with the sun. It's here, cried Zoe, our first day of school. In front of the school, teachers were holding signs. Dex, the cool cats, Zoe said. And look, the awesome alligators, Dex smiled. Right away, he felt like he was going to like his teacher. Zoe tried to smile. Uh-oh, something suddenly felt funny in her tummy. Dex kissed his parents goodbye and let go of Zoe's hand. Don't worry, he said bravely. I think we're gonna have an absolutely positively awesome day. This time, Zoe wasn't so sure. Mr. Green knelt on the ground. Hi Zoe, it's nice to meet it's nice to meet you. You're going to have a great time in my class this year. Just then Zoe noticed a girl had the same backpack. I like your backpack. Thanks, I'm Sydney. Did you know it has a secret pocket? In the cool cat's room, Dex started to realize kindergarten was cool. He sang about the days of the week in circle time and built his skyscraper with blocks during free play. At music time, Dex met a new friend. What's your name? I'm Max. I'm Dex. Hey, our names rhyme. In art class, Ms. Williams noticed Dex working hard on something. But across the hall, Zoe felt anxious. She missed Dex more than she thought she would. She didn't want to cry, but she felt like she might. At last, recess, and there was Dex and Zoe, back together like peanut butter and jelly. They climbed the monkey bars and had a contest to see who could swing high, higher, highest. Recess was the best, but then Mr. Green blew the whistle. And just like that, recess was over. Bye, Dex, said Zoe. Bye, Zoe, said Dex. Aw. As they hugged goodbye, Dex slipped something in her pocket. Do you wish Dex was in your class, asked Sydney as they walked back to the classroom. Yeah, kind of, said Zoe, but at least he's just across the hall. That's when Zoe remembered the piece of paper in her pocket. Aw, Dex and Zoe. As Zoe was hanging Dex's picture on the name tree, Sydney walked over. She had the class guinea pig in her hands. Were you going to feed Fluffy? Want to help us? Sure. Maybe she realized. Kindergarten will turn out to be absolutely, positively awesome after all. The end. Oh, how sweet. I'm glad Dex and Zoe were able to handle kindergarten without each other, but at least they got to see each other at recess. 
Oh, that was such a good story. Well, we'll see you next time, folks, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.